yeah, so, um, I want to start my YouTube channel. Um, I technically have had a channel, but I haven't really, like, posted a ton on it, and, um, you know, I know it's 2024, but I figured, you know, better late than never, right? It just, I'm not really sure how to start it off, you know? Oh, wait, is this recording? Hi, guys, welcome to the channel! No, that's fake as hell and too hyper, and I I'm not feeling that personally, so. Welcome to Jackass! So, we were thinking that uh, we'd, we'd uh, get some eyes and, like, uh, throw them at your face while you're doing your intro, and, uh, that, that, that'd be, like, really funny, and a cool way to start things off, you know? I mean, why don't we just cut the bullshit <coughs> and fucking start the thing, you know? That just seems to make the most sense. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, um, I'm Ella, and, uh, I have... I mean, I have some other videos on this channel that are not going to be related to what I hope will become a more regularly posted series, but I wanted to start this off, I guess, by uh, introducing myself and what I would like to talk about um, on a regular basis uh, going forward. So what I'd like to focus on and what I'd like to create content around is um, going to involve body modification. Um, now I'm not a professional in any sense, but I am a professional pin cushion. As you can probably see, I've met so many piercers and tattoo artists over the years of me getting my work done and you know being their clients. I've had many good, even amazing experiences, but I've also had some not so good and even just straight up terrible experiences. And um, I just think it's important that I start to talk about what I've experienced in my community, which is in, within New York City, um, and just kind of talk about the culture of body modification um, within this as it relates to New York City and, um, you know, go from there. I've met so many artists over the years, both piercers and tattoo artists, and um, I've had, I've really run the gambit of experiences, both good and amazing to terrible, just straight up awful. So um, I am not like the most versed with every aspect of body modification. Um, I'm definitely, like I said, I'm not a professional, but I am very passionate about body modification, both on myself and within the community. Um, I, you know, think it's important to note that a lot of the body modifications that we see now have come from BIPOC um, and indigenous cultures around the world. And, um, you know, a lot of the times, like, you wouldn't know it based on, like, where the like what the tattoo industry looks like but like this comes from at least if you're BIPOC from our culture and um I feel like it's important to have our voices be part of you know what's going on in the tattoo piercing body mod communities anyway so um I figured I'd you know start to share some of my stories and you know maybe over time if you guys feel comfortable sharing your stories good and bad like we can see where this goes but I just really like to talk about things um as it comes to body modification or as it applies to body modification because I think it's important to discuss things um you know clear the air and you know get truths out so yeah so, full disclosure, um, I am aware that there are other YouTubers who talk about body modification. Um, the ones that I'm most aware of, the ones that I've watched personally, are Roly and Treacle Tats. Um, and I, like, I love what they do. I'm a huge fan of both of them. Um, if you happen to be watching, like, hi. <laughs> um, and, you know, like, I... I I think they're both amazing. Like, I, I appreciate the knowledge that they have and um, the wealth of information that they have about the subject. So um, I just want to 
be clear, I'm not like trying to poach their audience or, you know, coming for their spot or anything like that. Um, I just, I, what I've noticed is that like, well, they're both from the UK and like, they're amazing with the knowledge that they have of body modification in terms of body modification from the UK, but, and they do, they do like, a ver- y'all do a good job. I'm not saying that you don't in terms of knowing like some of the body modification rules in America, like you're, you're actually very well versed, both of you, for people who do not live here. But I will say like, as somebody who is grown up in America all my life, unfortunately, um, I do have some insider knowledge that, like, they probably don't, just because they haven't lived here, just like, I don't know what it's like to get pierced or tattooed in the UK, like, or other parts of the world, I've literally, I mean, I think I've only really ever been tattooed within New York City, so, like, I don't even know what it's like, you know, getting tattooed in California or something like that. Um, but I can at least speak to the rules within, like, the states near me and, like, within my state and, like, within the general, like, federal blah 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 of America. So, um, again, I'm not, like, trying to steal from them or anything, but I do think I can provide, you know, some context for any American viewers that, like, you know, needed. I mean, obviously I'm not a professional, so, like, don't show me your infected piercing and be like, is this infected? Like, I, I mean, probably it looks not great, but, um, like, I'm not the one that can make that judgment, like, professionally. Um, so I, and I, I don't necessarily want to see, like, a bunch of infected shit in my inbox. Um, but I do want to hear, like, your stories and your experiences so like you know share them of course um but yeah like I I don't intend to tread the same paths as other youtubers who talk about this subject I might dabble a little bit or like you know do some reaction vids or whatever but I want to mainly mine from my own experiences and like experiences that are shared with me and you know topics kind of happening both locally within the body mod community around me and just like in general within the U.S. like you know I feel like I can offer some interesting perspective on that so this is me giving that a shot so I, I don't know how long I intend this video to be I don't know how long it'll actually end up being um but I'm gonna spend some time just for this video discussing what I'd like to cover in upcoming videos um I haven't decided a filming schedule um I <laughs> I'm kind of just winging it <laughs> it's literally f we ball um but I'm gonna try to get organized like I do use my calendar so I'm gonna try to like you know be an adult and like get everything in order um so I can post regularly I don't know what the posting day will be or days will be um don't know how often yet still figuring all of that shit out but you know um if you're still here watching I appreciate it and I hope um I hope this has piqued your interest, I guess. You know, we'll see. But well, what I'd like to discuss in the next couple of upcoming videos um, is first just, like, kind of doing a tattoo tour and piercing tour, body mod tour um, in general, just kind of showing what I have. As you can kind of tell, I'm not, like, fully covered. I don't even know if I could be considered heavily tattooed at this point, um, but that is the goal. And um, I am somewhat visibly tattooed. Like, I can hide my tattoo tattoos pretty well but like obviously if I'm wearing stuff like this it's more obvious so and my piercings like my hair is long but um you know some of my piercings you know they can be they were definitely visible um especially the ones on my face so um yeah, I, I want to kind of do a full tour of that and show everything off. Um, and then in the next video, I'd like to 
discuss, um, I don't know what to call it. It, 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 is it a tattoo from hell, is it a nightmare tattoo, somewhere, a little column A, a little column B, I'll figure it out, but, um, I want to tell my own, um, tragic backstory of one of my tattoos, and, um, kind of go into my lore with my experience with that, because it, it wasn't just, like, you know, it happened, and then everything was fine, it was, like, years, years of, like, working to undo, um, what was done, so I want to kind of go into that, and, um, I'd love it if you guys could start to send me your stories, um, of bad piercings that you've done either yourself or gotten somewhere that was, like, not, maybe not up to par with you know, proper piercing shop, um, or bad tattoos, um, bad tattoo experiences, bad tattoo artists, like, whatever it is around body modification that you would like to share, I want to hear about it, um, particularly if you are BIPOC, but, like, really, um, anybody, anybody is really welcome to, you know, join the conversation here, that's kind of my goal with this, so, um, yeah, like, I, love to start to hear from some of you and, you know, build a little audience and, you know, see where that goes. So I think I'm going to wrap up for today, um, but that's kind of what you can look forward to in the upcoming future. Um, again, I, like I said, I haven't worked out my posting schedule or anything really, but, um, we're just, we're going to figure it out as we go. We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. How about that? Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to, I, I guess I'll post all my socials in the description or wherever. I don't even fucking know where that shit's supposed to go. But um, I'll post it so that you guys can, like, reach out to me in DM or whatever as you need or want to. Um, yeah, uh, like and subscribe, Avi. Um, and uh, let me know what you think and what you're looking forward to and, you know say hi. I don't know, just say hi. I'm, I'm down for that, you know. I think that's kind of it for now. Um, hopefully if all goes well, I'll see y'all in the next video. Um, remember to hydrate or die straight, and I for one refuse to die straight. Um, and yeah, have a good time until I next see you, and uh, be well, and uh, yeah, sayonara.